Hey, this is another episode of my book club videos where every time I'm watching a movie or a TV series and there is a book on the scene, I need to know which book it is. I have recently watched Bones and All. I haven't read the novel, but I've heard both have a lot of book references, but they are way different from each other. Well, today I'm going to talk exclusively about the movie, so it's my time to invite you to the Bones and All book club. Let's start with the obvious, Marin. Marin is a certified bookworm, the movie wants to make it visible, she's reading on a lot of moments and there are a lot of books everywhere she goes. Watching me read? Yeah. And that makes us know a lot about her personality. Every book we see her reading throughout the movie makes total sense with her story and the way she's feeling at that precise moment. The first one is a really good example. We can see this book on the floor of Marin's room, meaning she took it with her when she left, and in her last home with Lee so it follows her through all her adventure. The Fellowship of the Ring, first part of the Lord of the Rings saga. It sounds really fitting since Meryn is leaving her home and starting an epic journey herself, and now we know it's with her till the end of it too. I think it's significant also that she's reading it when she meets Sully, the big villain of the movie. Next, when Meryn follows Sully to that old lady's house, there is a book on the table that she notices immediately and we can see her touching it probably wanting to read it or even recognizing it. It's Dubliners by James Joyce, a classic of Irish literature. Later, in one of Meryn's flashbacks of her childhood house, there is a blurry book on the frame, and I think it shows us that Meryn's love for novels is probably something that her father gave to her. On the scene when Meryn and Lee are talking on a hill, Meryn is reading a new book. When Lee sits down by her, she drops the book and we can see a glimpse of the title, probably intentional so we know which one it is. Housekeeping by Marilyn Robinson. This story is about two girls experiencing a few abandonments while growing up, so it could be helping Marion to go through hers. When Lee and her are finally living together in Michigan, we know that she's in fact working in a bookstore. While Lee is on the telephone, she goes into the room and picks another classic. The Clan of the Cave Bear. A tale about a girl, then again, looking for a home that gets adapted by the enemy clan. This could be her feeling welcome in the non inner society after thinking that she'd always belong to that other clan. Lastly, starting her university phase. Like I said, she's working on a bookstore, so she has access to more academic reads, and she picks a short story of the opera by Donald J. Grove. In the last minutes, when Sully appears, we learn that he reads too, but in a completely different style. During the fight, the books fall on the floor, and we can see that Sully is a fan of the monster series Edge the Loner. I wouldn't be surprised if Sully identified himself with the protagonist, a man looking for revenge. Also, these books are very bloody and violent, and it really fits his personality, and they could be also be the reason he dresses that way. That's all I could find, I would love to continue this series, I'm already working on another episode, but please, I would love to read your suggestions in the comments. Thanks for watching!